Hi, this is Everett, Everett's Watercolors. Welcome to my studio. Now today we have another demonstration of watercolor painting. Uh, I'm broadcasting live from Chesapeake, Virginia. And uh, I'm also, I'm broadcasting out to uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and uh, later on to Instagram. And uh, in my, uh, and also Twitch, forgot Twitch. Uh, in the studio today with my wife, Gloria. Welcome everyone. And uh, should we monitor the broadcast and also uh, check in the chat room. If you have a comment or want to give me a question, uh, please uh, give me a give me a something on the chat room. Give me a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, this is your first time you've seen this broadcast. Uh, give me a subscribe, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and uh, also give me a comment or after the after the program. Uh, they all help with my rating. I appreciate that very much. Okay, today I'm going to do a painting, a, painting, a demonstration painting, but basically I'm going to be uh, studying color, how to, how to match a color. I've got a photograph of, of a part of a building, a wall, a brick wall of a building, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of how to match the color, and then I'm going to take the, some of those colors and values, and I'm going to go ahead and do a little texture exercise uh, with that brick wall. So let's go to my painting table and uh, let me get started. Okay, well here's a photograph uh, of the brick wall. You can see here, so it's, it's got a lot of interesting, uh, uh, not just the shapes of it, but it's the colors, you know, it's the darks and the lights and so forth. And uh, that's almost the color that's there. I'm not gonna probably enhance that a little bit, uh, but let's, let's talk about colors. Uh, over here on my palette, I've got the artist, Holbein Artist Watercolors, and I'm gonna be using a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, and down here, a little bit of yellow ochre here in the corner, and uh, lysine crimson, and up here, uh, ultramarine blue, and uh, a little bit of uh, cerulean blue up here in the left corner. Now, the tools I'm using today, I'm going to be starting out with the uh, half inch flat uh, Holbein brush, half inch synthetic, uh, synthetic uh, brush. And this is a number eight round. These are both Holbein uh, synthetic brushes. I'll use those today on, on the painting. And, and also I'm gonna use a little bit of, uh, of a palette knife just to give another little bit of part of the texture. Okay, and flat, this has got like a, a knife edge to it and a couple angles to it, very interesting shapes. Okay, all right, so we'll get to that when I get to that point. Um, all right, now let's talk about color, first of all. Now the color here, uh, number one, when, it, when you go to match color, uh, all, all the items I showed here today, paints and brushes and so forth, are all available on my website, everswatercolors.com. Uh, when you go to go to look at colors and you want to match a color, if you're really interested in getting match, you start out with what I call the U, and the closest, in, in this case here, we're talking about uh, a brown. So the, the only brown I have on my palette is the uh, burnt sienna. So I would start out with the brown, the brown color. And then the next thing, next next to the U, or the brown color, then I start talking about the uh, the the temperature. And this in this in this case here, or uh, temperature and the value. The temperature here. This is this this here's a little bit see a little bit warmer than the brown here. So I'm going to cool it down. So add a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, blue to it. You cool down a color by adding the complement, or you cool it down by adding the a little bit of blue to the to the mix, and I can even put a little bit of Payne's gray in here, also up here in the corner. A little bit of Payne's gray, a little bit more, so that you get that down. And I can put a little bit of Lutheran crimson in there to give it just a little more color, a little more, a little more, a little darker color with the uh, blue. And then I have a little test sheet here, and I can go ahead and do. Uh, I go here and I kind of test that with some of the colors. Now you can see there, that's, that one there matches pretty much the colors that, uh, that I have here on the bricks, okay? Let me come a little bit closer. doesn't match them all, but it matches some of the dark ones here. Now, in order to do that, so uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to, I'm, going to probably, I'm going to probably bounce the colors up, make the colors a little bit brighter than what they are in a photograph. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have three values of color. And I, I see here in the photograph, you can see I have a, right here, here's a good example. I have a dark uh, and a light and a medium 
right here, there's these three bricks right here, a dark light and a medium uh, color or values. Dark, light, and medium value. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna talk about. So let's talk about, uh, I'm gonna mix up three. We're using a, a color combination of browns. So the burnt sienna, I think that I'll make that my, uh, I'll make that my more or less my medium color. And I'll turn it down a little bit, put a little bit of Payne's Gray in that, just a touch. Uh, that'll take off that not real, real bright. I don't want to have uh, too much orange in that flavor. So I'll, I'll knock it down a little bit with Payne's Gray. So that, that's my medium, that's my medium mix there, okay? That's my medium mix. So let me put that on the, so that's, that's kind of my medium, medium color I have there. And it kind of matches some of the medium values. And I'm kind of, as I said, I'm adding a little more color to the, to the painting here. And then for the darks, I'm going to put in the, some of that uh, ultramarine blue, mix in a little bit of Payne's Gray, a, a touch of alizarin crimson. And then come back and put some of that uh, burnt sienna. Okay, uh, and that's going to be my that's going to be my dark mix right there. So I got a medium and a dark mix. Now, uh, in order to get a light a lighter mix, all I have to do is add a little bit of water. So I just put a little bit of water in my brush, and I'll come out here. Come out here on the side over here. Put a little more water. So I'm adding about of uh, about a 50-50 of this uh, light of the medium side of the medium and the and the paint itself, and I'll get a medium. I should get a medium, a light, a light value. So there's my three values. I got a dark, a medium, and a light value of the brown. Okay. So, so I can control the value by adding water, or I can add a little bit of black to give it darker, or a little bit of a little bit of blue, which is um, ultramarine blue, uh, to make it darker, and then I can add a little bit of water uh, to the mix to make it lighter. All right, so let me start painting some of these bricks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of follow the, not, not exactly the patterns here, but I'm gonna go ahead and play with some of the colors of bricks. So I'm gonna start here with these three, the one we talked about, these three bricks right here, the dark, the light, and the medium right here. These three right here, right below the window. So I'm going to start with the, uh, I guess I'll start with the light. I got the light on my, I have light on my, uh, on my brush. So I'll go ahead and I'm, what I'm going to do now, let me show you a brush stroke here. Uh, yeah, I've got, I, I got the drawing of the bricks on the paper. This is a 140 pound Gemini watercolor paper. This is a quarter sheet. So I have plenty of room here to play. So I'm going to uh, put the brush down here. And lay it flat and then drag it down. So that's that's my lighter my lighter value right there. That's the lightest value. Uh, so we'll go to the medium value, which is the one with the uh, uh, burnt sienna in. And a touch of a touch of uh, Paint's gray, and we'll go in here and put that in. And I'll put a little, I gotta put just a touch more, a little more value in there, get that a little bit darker, just a, just a shade, a shade darker. So now I've got, I've now got a light, a light and a dark uh, value there of that particular one. And then for the dark, I'll go back to, I'll get the, the darker mix, which I did with the, the blue and the burnt sienna. And a little bit of uh, Payne's Gray and a little, just a little bit of Lizard and Crimson, get that really dark. And I'll paint the dark one. Okay, so there's there's the uh, there's the dark light and medium color using the brown with the mixtures. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna play with now I'm gonna play with some uh, some texture. Uh, now I'm gonna take another brick over here, 
I'm going to pick them. I'm just going to pick them up. I'm just going to pick them up hazardly here. This one here. Uh, I think I'll start out here to the side. We'll build, we'll build this. I've got a, a medium size. This looks like a, a dark. So now I'm going to play around with just kind of combinations now. So I'm going to, now I'm going to drag the brush there. I'm going to build a little texture by dragging as halfway, it's half uh, dry and half wet. So I get a, I get a little, I drug it there and I get a little bit of texture just by doing a little dry brush on that particular one there. Now I'll go back to the, the light mix again. And if I hold the, if I hold the brush flat on the surface and drag it, I'll get a, I'll get a rough brush, I'll get a rough uh, dry brush look. Okay. So now there's there's the light there's the light brown there's there's a medium one and there's the dark one the light one light medium and there's the dark ones over there okay uh, now I'll go down below that and give me a put in another one kind of make that one more solid then I'll make another one over here with the uh, I'll make, I think I'll make a medium, a medium one again. I'm going to put a little more burnt sienna on this one. I'm changing the color just a little bit. So I'm going to vary the color by adding a little bit of burnt sienna into my in my brush. And I'm going to drag this one. I'm going to lay it flat and try. I'm going to do a little brush stroke here and get some texture. So now I got another one. I, got, I changed the color a little bit just to give it a little more interest, and I, I I drug it there and got a dry brush mark. So so there, that's how I get that's how I get the uh, texture. This one over here. This is going to be a, a light value. I'll bring that in. So bring it in here. Okay, so that's a medium, and that's more of a dark, a different color, but different. And I left a lot more texture showing in that one. Okay, okay. Now I can speed this. There's these interesting little ones, small, uh, smaller ones over here. Let's, let's match. Let's get this one here. I'm going to do a medium. So this will be. Uh, I'm using a downstroke on this one, and uh, this is the same value over here. And then there's a, goes over a little further. Let me go over here, this this far over here. Okay. Then it goes light again, so I'm going to go light. Add a little water to that mixture. So to lighten up, I add water. Now I'm changing the, I'm changing the brush strokes now because this is a small area. And uh, I'll get another medium. I'll get another medium color, and I'm going to drag this one. And I put a little. I'm going to put a little texture on this one. I hope to get a little texture. Now the paint's a little bit too wet, but I get a little texture on the on the edge, just a little bit on that one. A little bit of texture on that one. And I get one more. Another dark. One. I'm going to do another dark one. So I'll put a little, I'll admit a little bit of blue in that mixture. And get this one over on the edge, over here. Okay, that was a dark one there. Okay, uh, well I'm going to do a feed up a little bit more now. I'm going to go ahead and get another dark one. Now that you see more or less to see the routine here now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, start moving a little faster. So I'm going to do a, now I'm going to do a medium medium value, dry brush.
And I think I'll get another, I'll put another dark one. I'm, I'm not following the, uh, I'm not following the bricks on the photograph. I'm just using those as samples of what I want to do. Now I'm going to hold, see if I can get a more, hold the brush flat, drag it. Get that, get that uh, texture, that texture look on the brick on the on the surface there. Okay. Let's see, this one here. Be a dark one also. Go back to a light one. Add more water to the mix. And go back to the medium. More burnt sienna. Uh, we'll do, a, do two mediums, we'll do another medium. Lots of texture on this one, lots of texture. Dry brush. I really like that, I really like that dry brush look when you, when you just drag the, just drag the, uh, the brush across the paper and uh, have it loaded. Uh, here we're going to do a dark one. Add a little more blue to that mix. Uh, pick up a little bit of Payne's Gray, a little bit of Alizarin Crimson. No more Payne's Gray. I want this to be dark. And it's dry. You notice there's no, very little water. I put very little water in this mix here. Mostly, it's mostly pigment, mostly paint. So when I drag it now, there's very little water in the brush. So when I drag it, I should get a uh, texture with a dry brush. You can see that. That brush right there. And then uh, we'll go back to medium again. Okay. All right, now I'm going to have a little bit of fun with the uh, palette knife. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to pick up a little more uh, of the pigment. And uh, now I'm going to use the same mix mixtures uh, burnt sienna and a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue and pick up a little bit of Payne's gray and even a little bit of Lutheran crimson a little bit of, get a little bit of red in there now I load the knife I load the knife pick up the edge on the edge of the knife and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it uh, down And drag it from the bottom. Let's try another one. So you, you load the uh, you load the knife up from the side. Get the edge get the edge loaded with paint. And then you drag you bring the knife down along the edge of the shape.
Now I'm going to try to load the, uh, the small, small, small edge of the knife here, so I can get the uh, angle on the side. That gives some that gives some interesting some interesting uh, effects of texture uh, in the bricks. I'm gonna load the knife again. I'm gonna mix a little more water in this. See if I can get a little bit uh, wetter, a little wetter, so I have a, a bigger. I want to get a bead, get a bead on the edge of the knife, and as I bring it down. So it's not like painting with uh, a brush. You have to load the load the knife edge with enough uh, paint, and it, you don't have to have it that th thick. It just has to have enough moisture on it so it so it will move. Now I'm dragging it up from the bottom. Get those edges. We'll try one more over here. That worked a little better. So it takes a little practice with the uh, palette knife to get the uh, proper technique. There is no technique. It's just a scrape. You're scraping the paint off the knife onto the paper is what you're doing. Okay. I know those that gives you a lot of texture down here as far as the bricks go. Okay. I think I'll go back here and I'm gonna go ahead and put some more some more bricks in. Kind of finish off this uh kind of finish off this uh, wall a little bit. So the ones down here at the bottom aren't, aren't as well defined. Uh Now another one, another thing is to do is to take the brush and load, say, let's say load one color on one corner of the brush and, and then flip it over and get the darker edge. Then you'll have a two-tone. You have a two-tone brush stroke. Let's do that again. Let's say uh, pick up, I'll pick up the burnt sienna on one corner down here. And on the other corner, I'll pick up the uh, the blue, the ultramarine mix up here. And as I come across, okay. I'll make a much dark, much darker now, much darker mix here, and then a much lighter mix down here. It's more of a brush stroke. So different, uh, different applications. Of paint and water. Here I'm doing a, more of a brush stroke going across here. More paint. Okay, now up here, let's try the ones up here at the top. I'm going to do. Uh, I'm gonna do a medium side, medium value. Use the burnt sienna, a little bit of, a little bit of that darker brown mixed in there, and we'll get this one. Okay, and I'm gonna drag this one. I'm gonna uh, get another rough, another rough brush stroke, and I can see there. Uh, 
if I have more if I have more uh, water in the brush it's going to give you more of a flat a flat texture and if I pick it up pick it load the brush with with paint and then hit hit a uh, hit a sponge to take off some of the moisture and then come through and drag it you get more of a dry brush so there I'm taking some of the water out of the brush and that way uh, there was more water in the brush which gave me a smooth and I had less water in the brush up here which gave me a a, a rough edge a rough texture Now I can also use the uh, I can also use the round brush. Uh, I can load the round brush here with paint, and I can use this. I can use the round brush just like a, a flat brush, just by moving it aside. I load the brush and then drag it on the side of the brush. This is a number eight, number eight round, and I can still get a, an effective uh, brush stroke out of that to, to fill in the, to fill in the shape. So here I'm using a round brush, a round brush stroke, using the side of the brush, and I'm getting that, I'm getting that texture. I'm getting a rough, uh, brush stroke across there, which gives me the texture that I'm looking for. Let's start with it. Let's get a darker mix up here. I'm using a round brush again. I'll lay it on its side. Drag it across there. Less water in the brush. Come down here and pick up another, another batch of uh, different color. A little bit of more burnt sand on this one. I have more. I have more uh, water in the brush, so the texture is a little smoother. And then come over here and put more water in that mix. It gives me a lighter, a lighter value. And I'll get a light value over here. By controlling the amount of water in the brush and also the type of brush, you can get interesting effects. Here, up here, I use the round brush to get these strokes up here. And I think I'll wind up. I'll wind off with the uh, the flat brush. Change the value, get a little darker up here, a little darker at this top. And then finish off with a little bit of light value over here. Okay, so there's quite a, there's quite a variety of different uh, textures. Uh, using the uh, pilot knife, uh, using a flat brush, using a round brush, and whether it's a dry stroke or a wet stroke. Okay, uh, now over here in the, on the photograph, there's a little there's a little window with some blue in it. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. So I have some cerulean blue up here in the top. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it up, rinse out my brush, keep the brush nice and clean, mix up a little bit of cerulean. To match the color of the uh, of the photograph, so it's a, it's a blue. Put the blue color in there. Checking the value, checking the value. Don't want it too dark. 
keep it light. Add more water to that. If, it, if you put it down and it looks a little bit dark, then add water to it so that it lightens up. So I'm just putting this blue in there just to kind of finish off the little painting here. Uh, let's finish off this little demonstration here of this side of a house, brick house. Now, uh, I'm going to try to. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of a uh, uh, little bit of design work here in, in this particular uh, sketch. Uh, there's a shadow. There's a little shadow underneath this brick. These three bricks, right? These bricks here underneath the window. There's a, there's a shadow. So I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to use a little bit of uh, cornucopia violet, a little bit of violet mixed in with that blue. It'll give you a nice shadow pattern. So I wound up putting a alizarin crimson with the ultramarine blue. That'll give me a nice dark purple. And I'm going to go ahead and put that underneath the. Uh, these bricks over here. This is a shadow pattern. This is like a little like a little ledge from those lines of bricks underneath the underneath the window. And what I'm going to do now, there's a, if you see the, the coloring here between the bricks, it's like a, a mortar, a mortar. And it's not, not exactly pure white. So what I'm going to do there, and it, it, this is white paper. Now I am going to leave this, sec this section up here, the, uh, the, the, around the window, uh, that's, a vi that's vinyl, and that's, that's pure white. So I'm going to leave that alone, leave the vinyl alone. Uh, but I'm going to... Uh, Mix up a little bit of uh, off-white, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take uh, the white out of my palette, which is I got Chinese white over here on the side. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, yellow ochre, just a touch, and that will uh, that will change the value just slightly. It'll warm up that. It'll warm up that white just a little bit. That's still got too, now it's too much yellow, so I've got to pick up more white. I want it to be a white color, not a, not really a creamy color, but a, a white color, but not a, not pure white. That's more like it. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to put that in between the bricks. And what I'm going to do here is just kind of paint this in. I'm going to start right here on this on this row here. Just kind of put that. So this is kind of, uh, this is like the mortar between the bricks. This goes underneath the, underneath the window over here. And then there's, there's, comes down between each brick. And what that, what I'm doing there is I'm, I'm uh, adding a little, adding a little color to that uh, white. So the only white here in this, in this, demonstration is around the window and I'm not gonna do all I think I'll just do enough of this just to demonstrate uh, putting another color on here and I'm using the uh, number the number eight round brush mixed with uh, Chinese white and a little bit of yellow ochre and you can see there, it's a, it doesn't. It's not pure white. It's got a little bit of uh, a little bit of yellow to it, a little bit of off white, 
a little bit of off-white color to it and that's all it needs just a hint I have to mix up a little bit more need a bigger puddle add more white back in keep that keep it from getting too yellow still want to still want to have a white color there but uh, be an off-white so we'll go down here to this side get one more in there and that will also clean up some of the edges of the bricks uh, if you uh, if you had a little bit of rough edge on the bricks then this would smooth them out if you were doing a painting like this with bricks bricks on a wall or something or on a building then the uh, then the white the white paint would uh, paint mixture would clean up the edges this is what I'm doing right here and I'm putting on pretty fast this round brush is just about the right size and I'm used if you'll notice here during the painting I'm using the uh, the size of the brush that match that meets the uh, size that I need the size of the bricks I use the half inch brush flat and for these uh, small spaces here I'm using the round brush to cover a smaller area so I use the size brush to do the job I'll finish up here around the window at the bottom is not as important up here close to the window a little it shows a little more so I'll put a little more a little more emphasis up here I like to I like to paint uh, uh, one not a I do, I do this all the time, but I do like to paint bricks. Uh, there's a little, you know, it's a, it's a nice study. Uh, number one, I, I wanted to do something with texture today. Uh, and also I wanted to talk about color, how to mix colors. And how to get a variety of colors. Even this uh, brick wall that has a lot of similar looking shapes and so forth. You can make it more interesting by changing the color, changing the value. And by adding adding a little extra things here and there, just little touches to give a little a little more variety, and this this little mortar between the bricks, I think, does add a little bit more. And it's just it's just the right touch to put on there. Let me take a close up here of what I want to do. Uh, if you look at if you look at the white if you look at the white here this is white this is white paper here along the edge of the, of the window but then over here you can see the off white between the bricks so there is a difference there if you look at it real close the difference between the pure white paper and then the off white between the bricks okay now I'm just going by back down just doing a little touch up here and there I got some more paint in the brush, so I can go down here and finish off the bottom. This is not really important down here. Okay, let me take one more look. Now what I can do now, uh, finish off a couple more things here. In the window, there's a little bit of shadow pattern, just a touch. Again, this is just something just to add more interest to a, even a simple little sketch like this. And this is, this is just this is an exercise. This is a study, a study, an exercise in the color mixing, matching a color, uh, and uh, and then also to uh, practice a little bit of uh, texture. And there's little there's a little bit of uh, stripes across. This is this is a shade inside the window. So I'm marking off a little bit of sh little stripes here. Just add a little, a little bit of interest to this section. 
So it makes it a little more believable. And as I go up, it'll be less, less and less defined. And a little more over, you know, a little, a little shapes over here just on this side. Even little details like this adds some interest to a painting. Just, just, just a hint of another shape. Even a little line here and there, a little value change makes a little difference to the presentation. And there's a uh, little shadow. I can put that in. Just a small shadow. I'll put that in. It's a little darker, so I add a little bit. Of, I add a little bit of that purple to that blue mix, just a little bit. There's a little shadow here on the side, and I can put that. Uh, I'll put that up here. There's a shadow from this section of the window, which comes across. I'll stick that in. There's a shadow down the centerpiece to finish this off. Shadows are a little bit darker than the uh, the actual item, so we can show that the sun shining on this particular item, and a little bit of shadow cast from the structure. Okay. All right. Well, there there's my uh, there's my starting pa uh, starting plan was the uh, a picture a photograph of a brick wall with a with a small window. And then uh, I wanted to show, number one, mixing of the paints. And we mixed the uh, burnt sienna and the uh, ultramarine blue and a little bit of uh, Payne's gray. Mixed in, we made a little bit little lister and crimson. Uh, then we made those bricks. And I remember I, I went through with the, uh, the flat brush. Flat brush, for I did, a, I did a, a, a pretty wet brush to get the smooth texture. The smooth texture. And then I, I dried the brush with less water in it. Put it on a sponge or just less water in the brush. And I drug it uh, parallel to the paper, and I got the uh, the rough texture on the bricks. Okay, and then I went with the palette knife, uh, and I, I loaded that on the edge, made a bead a bead on the edge of the palette knife, and I scraped I scraped these shapes down here uh, with the palette knife, and even up there. And then finally, I even went with the uh, little small round brush, number number six round brush, and by painting on the side, I was able to get texture and also uh, these two rows up here I painted with a round brush right here these two rows here then I added in the the mortar with an off-white mixture of uh, uh, Chinese white and yellow ochre come off with an off-white color to go between the bricks okay so I kind of finished it off All right, let me let me put a mat around this. Uh, just to, you know, I always uh, to put the mat. I'll do a smaller mat. I put around it to to uh, mat off part of it, and uh, that you might make an interesting little little painting right there, a little section. It shows uh, very very uh, different textures here on the bricks. It shows a little bit of design. Uh, uh, with the window and uh, and the shadows, and then also the uh, uh, the mortar in between the bricks. So I thought that would be very interesting. Let me bring this up, mat it up a little bit, make it see it easier. Try to just get the picture in there. Okay. All right, let's go back to my main table, main camera. 
Okay, uh, that, that's an interesting exercise, an interesting study, because uh, learning how to mix paints, to uh, st start with a base color, whatever it is, if it's a blue or brown or yellow or green or whatever, start with a base color, and then you add the, the, U, the U's to match that, and then you can add the lights and darks to darken that up, to change the value, uh, and to get the, the right contrast of, of the colors and to get as match as close as you can. And then, and that's how you start. You start with any kind of color combination. Uh, you start by mixing a nice color. Uh, the texture was a lot of fun with uh, using brushwork and palette knife, uh, even uh, brushwork with the, the small brush, the, uh, the round brush. And uh, then adding in the, the texture of that with a dry brush. And then I also mixed up uh, uh, some of the uh, mortar in between the bricks with a, a small brush and uh, with an off-white, an off-white combination. Okay, well that concludes today's uh, demonstration and discussion, and uh, hope you liked that. Give me some comments, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you read this or saw it, and uh, I'll be back later on this evening at 7.30 for Simply Drawing with Everett, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, tonight. And uh, I'm going to do an interesting drawing. I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, and now, over the weekend, I got a small... Uh, a small video comes out on Sunday. It will be uh, anyone can draw with one line only. I think you enjoy that. A lot of fun. So I'll see you until next week. Uh, you all be safe. And the weather is getting very nice outside. <coughs> Excuse me. So for benign now, bye. <laughs>